So 23, you, you're a lot more solid and pulled together than I was at 23. Where does that, does that come from my own, your own sense of responsibility to yourself or were you just raised right or a combination mm -hmm. of like knowing that you have a platform and people are watching you? Probably a combination of first being raised right. Like I grew up in a two parent household. They didn't play that <laughs> And then- Your um, parents are still together? No, they not. Okay. And then um, probably growing up in the industry, like I seen so much so early on and I've been told no and I done been, you know, let down by people I looked up to and all type of stuff like that. So I think I just had to mature fast, like accept the world for what it is. And it's, it's not all funny games. Mm. Okay, so there's only been one issue I've had with you your entire career. Uh -huh. When I first found Twitter, uh -huh. I used to burn Twitter down, and I used to be the leader of the Mulatto Mafia. That uh -huh. was literally what I was saying on Twitter. For real? Mulatto Mafia, hashtag Mulatto Mafia. Now, uh -huh. mind you, they just came and killed me for my 10-year-old tweets. Oh, they probably did? Probably like a couple months. What's y'all give I've been but canceled Twitter by Twitter was different then. It was different. I wish people could understand But that. when you came out as Mulatto, yeah. And that whole, because there was a while you were a mulatto and there was no issue. Yeah. And then one day it was an issue. Yeah. And then the next day it was an issue, an yeah. issue. And then you addressed it and it was an issue. And then you talked about changing your name and then you dropped the moon and it's just lotto. Mm -hmm. Why'd you do that? A oh, combination of things. Um, for one, I never named myself. First, it was Miss Mulatto. Like when I first started rapping on the rap game, before the rap game, whatever, it was Miss Mulatto. Then I got older and I was like, ooh, Miss is like so childish. So then I was Mulatto. I'm growing up, I'm listening, you know, to social media. I'm seeing the stuff that's going on in the world. At the time, like when I'm getting dragged and stuff, it's like George Floyd. And um, I, I marched in Atlanta, you know, police brutality is all these matters that's coming up and I'm like mm, that's probably not socially conscious of me <laughs> so I was like you know I'm pretty much taking accountability for other people's racism negativity or whatever yeah because I didn't name myself that I feel like I'm taking accountability for other people's actions I don't really know how to how to say that mm -hmm. um other people's actions or decisions for me. Um, basically writing other people's wrongs without bashing anyone, of course. But I just think that stuff just didn't really like align with what I stood for. I think people started turning it into a thing that I was bragging on the fact I was mixed. People turned it into a thing where I thought that was a personality trait. Hi, nice to meet you, I'm mixed. And like, no, it's not that. So once you've been misunderstood so and many times- you can't times, even explain yourself with social media. Yeah, you cannot, you cannot, you're not gonna win. Even to this day, people be like, they, they still gonna figure out a way, even though I didn't even name myself that. They're like, well, well why did you stick with it? It's always gonna be a but mm -hmm. something. So I was just like, you know, all I can do from here on out is right my wrongs and move forward. But I don't think you did anything wrong. That's the thing. And, yeah. and, 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 and you know, I understand, like, I always say, uh, I said this on the Drink Champs, that freedom, I mean, ownership is real freedom. Like, I yeah. own my own shit. Whether you like me, you don't. Watch yeah. it, don't. And I know when you're an artist and you have brand partnerships and all that, it's not, that's not necessarily what drives your decisions, but you mm -hmm. also want to be a good partner and just yeah. remove the conflict. Yeah. But I, I want to be clear. I don't think you did anything wrong. I get a lot of that, too, even from different, all types of different races, um, even black people, mulatto people, they both tell me like, I don't, I don't think, um, you know, anything was wrong with that to each his own. I, I personally, at first I didn't, I will say that I was hard headed. Then I started, I don't know. I feel like I started seeing a bigger picture and how it can be misinterpreted to the world. And then I started thinking people brought different stuff to my attention. So look at this. They was like, so when, you win an award, this is coming from people that was actually fans of me. They was like, I wanna see you win, but when you win your Grammy, if you have a white presenter and they say, to Mulatto, isn't that weird? And I was like, hmm. I just start thinking, you know what I'm saying? And thinking ahead and thinking like, do I really wanna have this image of me globally? And do you wanna constantly have to defend it or something? Yeah, and explain something that, Clearly it's not being transferred. Like the message is not being transferred how I want it to be at least. So 
it's not worth going to war about it. I don't feel that strongly about it. It's not like I wake up and brush my teeth and be like, I'm mixed. Like, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so Mariah Carey wrote a, a memoir and I read it and then I called her and it was the first time I had read a story from, as a mixed person, reading a story of somebody who'd gone through their experience being mixed mm -hmm. in a way of humanizing our experience because I mm -hmm. think like when you're black and white, to black people sometimes you're never black enough yeah. and to white people you're no, that part, I'm, you can't tell me I'm wrong about saying yeah. because that's facts, that everybody has their own experiences in life and that is something that I experienced and mm -hmm. nobody can take that away from me. I definitely felt like on this side I wasn't black enough, on this side I'm not white enough. I don't fit in on this side, I don't fit on, where, do, where do I fit in? As a kid, hmm, I think I was just confused the majority of the time as a kid. Like, I was like, you know, where do I fit in? I don't think I dealt with it until I just understood that I don't have to fit in. I'm just me. It's not, you know, a race thing. It's just a me thing. Like, mm -hmm. I can be me. And whoever accept me, accept me.